Alright, real quick, before we get into the video, a quick little PSA about the hung jury. As reported by Cheese Forever just recently, there is currently a game-breaking glitch related to box breathing on this weapon, wherein, with very specific timing, you can get two shots with the box breathing damage bonus and two tap guardians flat out with no other damage bonuses. Obviously, this is broken as hell. I did not abuse this glitch. I do not condone abusing this glitch, as hung jury is still a fantastic weapon regardless. But this glitch is out in the wild. You are free to do whatever you want in this game. I will also direct you to Cheese Forever's video to understand the glitch further. Hopefully the weapon doesn't get disabled because of this, because it's one of my favorite primaries in the game and I wholeheartedly recommend it. But yeah, that exists. Let's get into the video. All right, my name is Lionhearts. Welcome back to the Crucible Brothers. And today, yes, we're gonna be talking about Hung Jury and a little bit more about the 180 RPM Scout Rifles as sort of our second part to our earlier video on the 150 Scout Rifles, as we are currently in the middle of what I will now officially dub the Scout Rifle Renaissance, because I can. Just like their counterparts in the Scout Rifle family, 180's got a nice facelift here in the Solstice update, a nice bump to both their precision and body shot damage, more or less mirroring the same change to their hand cannon counterparts as well, and this has allowed 180 Scouts to feel better than they ever have at any point in Destiny, they are quite good and abuse damage perks in wonderful ways and leading the pack and now definitively one of the top 10 weapons in the game is the Hung Jury Scout Rifle. Yes, I stamp it. Hung Jury is top 10, bare minimum. It is an absolute threat in the Crucible and we're going to break that down right after I take a second and say thank you. In our previous video, I held you guys hostage and threatened you with Vex Mythic Class Violence if you did not subscribe to the channel, and you guys came through in a massive way. That video saw our biggest single uh, subscriber gain on any video since me and Gumi started working together, and that was fantastic to see. It made us feel really great. Thank you guys so much for that support. We passed 6,000 subscribers. We jumped straight to 6,100 subscribers, which was unreal. So we're gonna keep on jamming. We're gonna keep on making content. The next goal, honestly, we're just going straight to 10K. 7K, 8K, 9K, do not care. We're going straight to the Big Ten. So if you guys take a second, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out immensely with this content. It helps us keep going. And with all of that done, all of that preamble, all of that bug talk, let's talk shop about Hung Jury. So why is it that we have chosen this former D1 veteran to be our chosen one leading this archetype into greatness? Well, it is because of one perk and one perk only, and that is boxed breathing. Uh, any bugs aside, what box breathing normally does is one, give you a gigantic two last word size radius for your hitbox and a massive bonus to your damage if you eat your scope for one and a half seconds. What that translates to in game is 99 damage per shot with your scout rifle if you just sit and wait a little bit and have some patience in your life for once. With your base damage of 61 following up, this leads to free guaranteed buy one get one always three taps with this weapon at 0.67 second time to kill now a three tap at 180 rpm will instantly ring the alarm bells of any Desti 2 veteran as that is the holy magic number associated with the goat may he rest in peace not forgotten 0.67 really is this magic number in destiny if you can achieve a 0.67 time to kill you are ahead of the pack you are beating Hankins, you're beating auto rifles, SMGs, you're beating most pulse rifles. You're in that magic no time to explain territory. Just this time around, unlike no time to explain, you have essentially infinite range. It's a scout rifle, right? You don't have to worry about your damage fall off basically ever. This means the hung jury is uniquely suited to actually duel and beat those goddamn no time to explain crutchers. And it does all of this without needing a kill to activate this damage threshold. You see, there is another option here. A equally recommendable scout rifle you could chase is the Vault of Glass exclusive Vision of Confluence. Vision of Confluence is the current only available 180 scout in the game that gets kill clip. And again, we're essentially seeing the duality of two playstyles. Do you want to have the slower base time to kill and the reliability of kill clip or the different playstyle that restricts you to playing around box breathing, but instant access to one of the fastest time to kills in the game with Hung Jury. Well, to be honest, for pretty much every single scenario, if you're just a regular player, 
you can pick and choose here. You can use either. If you have a Vision of Confluence but don't have a Hung Jury, then use the Vision of Confluence. Especially because Hung Jury is no longer available. So unless you had the mad foresight to keep one from the previous seasons like I did, you're kind of out of luck. You don't have access to this extreme amount of power right now. But for those who do, the reason that Hung Jury wins out and becomes this incredible meta threat is once you get into these higher skill lobbies, you get into these end game scenarios like Trials, every single bit of damage counts. So relying on a damage perk after kill is a lot harder to exploit because better players will not give you the chance to use your kill clip timer. You need further aggression after the fact, which is harder to make happen with a scout rifle. However, with Hung Jury, you can sit back and guarantee no, you're gonna get the benefit of your damage as long as you can eat your scope for that 1.5 seconds. It's much more realistic for you to get benefits from this perks against higher level players. But again, your normal quick play match, your standard match at Iron Banner, hell, even most match to trials you may play against normal players, Vision of Confluence, a fantastic choice. Gumi has one with Kill Clip, I don't because my luck is terrible, and he absolutely slays out with it. It's like the difference between, say, like a Frenzy Survivor's Epitaph and a Kill Clip Survivor's Epitaph to make a 180 hand cannon comparison. They both achieve three temps, one of them does it after kill, one of them does it after proccing Frenzy, which is more valuable to you. That's a, that's a call you have to make. So with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about the box breathing playstyle, because it is one of the most unique ones in the game. It requires you to approach how you play the Crucible fundamentally differently, because let's be real, we're all victims of W key syndrome. We want to push everything. Destiny is designed for you to be aggressive and aggressive and aggressive and more aggressive, abuse your healing, your dodges, your shoulder charges, your special weapons, whatever. But with box breathing, you need to take it back a little bit. You have to play your lanes, you have to play angles, you have to find spots where you can eat your scope for 1.5 seconds, set up box breathing, and also be aware of your surroundings. Because obviously, unless you're using something like Knucklehead Radar on Hunter, you, don't, you no longer have your radar. You're losing out on a lot of information. This means that there is an incredibly high skill ceiling to getting effective gameplay out of the hung jury because you need to have better map awareness. You have to better understand where people are going to be coming from, spawns, the rotations that are going on throughout the map, throughout a game. All this so that you can successfully eat your scope and not to be worried about the blind spots that you're putting up while you do so. And beyond that, once you've eaten your scope, you have to hit your shots. Obviously, this is a high lethality weapon, but it also requires perfect precision. You need to hit your box breathing shots and then follow up with the crits after the fact. You need to be able to land those shots consistently because missing your box breathing shot is a huge detriment to your time to kill. So while this definitely is one of the highest skill playstyles in the game, in my opinion, there is still a lot going for you though. Again, box breathing when procced gives you giga aim assist, even on mouse and keyboard. It's going to be very hard for you to miss the shot entirely. Worst case scenario, you might get a body shot, but most of the time, if you aim neck up with box breathing and you don't hit the crit, something went wrong. You pair that up with good supporting perks like rapid hit and like full auto retrofit as a mod, which is my favorite way to build out this weapon. And you have an insane amount of reliability once you start practicing the playstyle. The biggest number one natural predator to this playstyle, though, is overly aggressive enemies. If they don't allow you the space to own the lands, then you're going to have a hard time. Another big problem is snipers eating your flinch and sniping you back. And of course, the fact that Hung Jury, with its overall lower stability, even with Rapid Hit, does not take flinch very well. Sometimes you will get flinched off your follow-up shots after box breathing, and that can be absolute pain incarnate. To wrap up this video, I want to make a comparison. In our previous Scout Rifle Sojourn, we talked about the Transfiguration with Kill Clip Rampage, and how it quickly became one of my favorite weapons of all time because of its insanely high top-end potential, but once you proc your damage perks, you're two-tapping at 150 RPM, with this insane, game-breaking, lethal time to kill. That weapon is very much boom or bust. When you compare it to Hung Jury, Hung Jury is incredibly consistent once you understand the playstyle. You know what to expect from your box breathing. You know that you could get this consistent, insanely lethal time to kill, much in the way that No Time to Explain gets away with it. Which leads to these insane scenarios where it feels like literally no one can stop you because of this chain reaction effect when you have the right build going. If you get your Charge of Light mods, your Radiant spam going, not only do you need to rely on box breathing less, because as soon as you get any other damage boost, you're three tapping base with Hung Jury, it just leads to these insane chain kill scenarios. It just feels so lane dominant in a way that I haven't experienced with really any other weapon ever in the game. And admittedly, Hung Jury did this before the update, but the damage threshold changes added consistency to its base time to kill, 
as well as remove the weird resilience cap that could sometimes happen with the box breathing 310. So I would highly recommend it. If you have one in the vault, try it out. If not, Vision of Confluence, Vault of Glass, Kill Clip, it cannot steer you wrong. It's a great alternative. And keep an eye out. If we get a craftable 180 scout with enhanced box breathing, that will be a top five weapon in the game, no cap. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know if you've tried out Scout Rifle since the update. Once again, thank you guys for the insane support lately. It's been much appreciated. We love you all, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.